walked into a uh, ceramics class in 1968 because it was the only class that would fit in with my work schedule. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea, but the minute they put that clay into my hand, I knew that was my life. <laughs> and I go, how am I going to make a living? But you don't worry about that at, at that point. I set up a little pottery at the family farm in Kansas, and I dug the, my own clay. I built my kiln and and so forth. And uh, I did that for a few years. Then I opened a little shop in Fort Scott, Kansas, and uh, actually made a living. <laughs> There's some criteria that they have to meet. They have to have had some either live in Denton, go to school in Denton, been born here, some tie to Denton like that and um, have made a national impact on the arts. I think Paula is really interesting in that, that she's a sculptor, but she uses very unusual materials. You know, that when you see her sculpture in brick, it just adds a whole different uh, dimension to that because you're used to seeing things in marble and granite and more traditional materials. Most of us like to do things that we can get uh, done in a day or two at the most and put aside and go on to something else. But she has a devotion and a tenacity to um, just keep working on it until it's done. Mm. I guess it's that trust that they have in me with that they're you know, kind of fingers crossed that it's going to be good, be good enough, and I'm happy if, if it's better than they were, were hoping. Thank you.